So Peter Tucker is a huge inspiration to me. He's a really well-known 3D artist. And if you haven't heard about him, check out his work. He creates kind of like abstract, minimal scenes, like with beautiful color. So basically what he does is he takes like abstract shapes and like blends them all into like a nice scene, which might look easy, but it's a lot of work and the color needs to be right and all that kind of stuff. So he is one of the best at that. And I'm sure if you have come across his work, you want to create something kind of like his. So I thought I'd make a video and show you how to create something without having to model the shapes like he does. And it's really easy. So let's jump into it. Okay, so what you need to do is download this add-on. It's free. I made a video on it a while back, so I'll link it in the description if you want to download it. But So it's this add-on. And then all you do is you can see you get all kinds of shapes already modeled. So it's not that many, but it's good enough to create a scene. So what I'm going to do is enable that so you can see what I'm doing. Now let's create a scene. So the first thing you want to do is go Shift A, Mesh, Nether Plane, then go S, scale it up to there. Right now, what you could do is extrude this, but you'll see why I don't. So what you do is click on it, and then go Shift D, and then R X ninety. Okay, go to Z G, and then just bring it to there. Okay, so what we can do now is bring our camera up the Y, something like that. Okay, because this is the bottom, this is the top, you'll see. Okay, so with Peter Tucker's work, you can see he likes to blend all kinds of objects and make it like work together. So one tip I can give you is try and keep everything close to each other without touching, basically. So let's find something. Let's go with, let's go with this, and then G, bring it up, and then let's scale it down, go here, and then zoom in, then go G, let's bring it to the floor, okay, now let's find something else. So let's go with something like that. Then G, bring it up. Let's just close this a bit. And then S, scale it. Go to X. Okay. And then G, bring it to there. Okay. And what you could always do is go R and rotate it if you want. So that looks pretty cool. Now let's find something else. Maybe something like this. Okay, then G. Bring it up. Got a top view. Now S. Let's scale it down. Okay, G. What you could do is bring this here. Balance it there. Okay. And then once you've selected this, so let's say you want to go Shift D, you can duplicate this. Then R, G, let's bring it to something like that. Okay. Now I know that this seems a bit weird. Let's add something else. So let's go with, let's go with this, add object, G. S, let's get it down, G, something like that. Let's look for something else. Maybe let's go with like a spiral, so something thin, add object, G, S, G, bring it there. Okay, now what you want to do, 
to follow this. Add that. G, bring this up. And just it on there. Something like that. One more and it's fill it here. So what we can do. Go with this. G S. And just get it. And then maybe just R. That looks pretty cool. And now what we can do is use the camera. Just zoom in. And just get it right. Okay. We can even bring this Y. Touch. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now what we want to do is we want to add light so you can see if I go to cycles. Everything is dark. The world is dark. So what you can do, let's go back here. Go to edit, preferences. And then type in try, lighting, enable it. Now select an object. Go shift A, light. Three point light. And then all you do is select the key light. Go here. Bring this to 200. Full light. Make this about 50. And this 30. Okay. Now you can always adjust that later on. But we want nice shadows. So now let's add color. So what I would suggest is use a website like Adobe Color. Then what you do is you click here, explore. Then you can look for a nice color palette that works together. So let's go with so let's go with this one. So what you'll do, click on it. Now let's go back to Blender and in this click new. And then how to add this. So let's make this background the screen. So you click copy, go to here, make sure this is selected, click here, go to hex, and then hit control V and it pastes it. Okay, then let's go back, select this one, and then let's select this new. Same thing, control V, paste. And then once you see what you can do is you can select it and then make it metallic. If you want, I want to leave this something like that. Once you've got that selected, maybe select another one. So this one, new. So then we go here, copy. Let's go here, paste. Control V, let's do it here. Okay, let's find another color. Let's go over here. Yeah. And you can even do this with a floor. So what you could do is make it the space color if you want. Okay, so see how it looks. Let's do it. Okay, it looks pretty cool. You can see how nice that looks. Now what you can do is zoom in a bit more. So I've got a camera. Bring this up. How nice does that look? And then let's hide this. And there we go. So, simple scene, kind of like Peter Tarker. You can even compress them in a bit more. Um, but yeah, with 
without having to model anything you literally use this add-on with free shapes and create something pretty cool so if you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe i'll see you in the next one